right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We'll see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Volkanovski is two years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Mecca, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's Hall All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Jab yet again out of range. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, he's got the 
Ground and pound going now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in the guillotine attempt. Now looks as though he's got the neck. Oh, nice guillotine there. And he's out. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. This is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. Huh. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura here. And now he falls back into the finishing position. is really remarkable to watch. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, working inside the close guard now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Round two here. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in the ball. Oh. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Trying for a submission now. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Volkanovski. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop him. You gotta defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape. It's very, very dangerous. All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, oh, oh. And it's DC take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Those takedowns with your strike. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. A great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. How many can he take? With two minutes and change to go in round three. Lands with the ground and pound here. submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar and 
Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result here tonight.